introduced me to this digital uh, card thing, I guess, where they snap this QR code thing on your phone or you just tap your phone to yeah. somebody. How do you feel about that? Oh, I have one. I okay. got, yeah, I got two I, of them, actually. I, have, I ordered the popple. It just hasn't been set up yet because I ain't do the page or nothing yet. Yeah, it, it's impressive. It's impressive to the client. Technology, people want to see that you're tech savvy. They want to see uh, high levels of cutting edge technology. I, I, I can tell you a situation that this was the funniest thing. I wish I had a camera to record it. I did a power of attorney for this family. And then the, um, I, the mom asked me to uh, for my business card. And I had the blue card. That was the blue digital card, right? And I tapped her phone and it didn't take. And she was like, um, yeah, so, something must be wrong with your card or something. I was like, no, it works. Look. And then I took my phone and I tapped my phone and all of my information came up. Right. So I kept tapping her phone and she had an iPhone or whatever. Right. And she she didn't have the NFC on. You have to have the NFC on your phone for for those cards to work. So just a heads up on that. Um. So her daughter comes by and she was like, hey, you could tap my phone. Her, her daughter's like a young adult, about 20 something years old. I tapped the daughter's phone. It immediately comes up. He's like, see, mom, it works. The mom lost her lunch. She was so pissed off that her new iPhone wasn't taking it. She, <laughs> she said, let me see your card. She snatched the card out of my hand and just kept, she was tapping the hell out of her phone. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> you know, you're right about the, about the older folks not knowing phones. I tell you no lie, two days ago, the cop showed up at my house. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, uh, it's nine o'clock in the morning. What the, my, my godson is here, so he ain't in trouble. What do you want? They was like, um, do you know Rosemary? I was like, yeah, that's my mother. What's wrong? She hasn't heard from you in two days. She mistakenly blocked me on her phone. And because she has a new iPhone 13 or 14, whatever the heck is out now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, Lord. <laughs> Polk County Sheriff's Office showed up at my house at nine o'clock in the morning. Said, please call your mother. Wait, she's still in New York? She is in New York. She is not a Florida yeah, person. Yeah. She like, she like no. my daughter in, in, in Florida, I, don't, I can't hear from her. I don't blame her. <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah. hey, it is what it is, right? So yeah. we, ha we have to be prepared for both ends of the spectrum. We, we're, we're dealing with a very, very hot, like the baby boomers are known to have the most disposable money. They have restructured America with the type of work that they were doing when they were younger, right? And they have, right now, there is a transfer of so much wealth going on. It's unbelievable. There, That's why I try to do these power of attorney classes every like, three or four months because it's getting higher and higher and higher. So every year right now, current date, there are 10 million power of attorney documents that are being drafted by legal firms, 10 million. There's only 4.8 million notaries in the United States. That's like two power of attorneys for everybody. But here's the thing. Most notaries don't know what they're doing, so they turn down the offer. Most notaries don't even answer their phone, so they turn down the offer. Most notaries don't know what they're doing, so they turn down the offer. Oh, you got a power of attorney? Uh, yeah, I'm a loan signing agent. I don't, I don't do those. Okay, you just passed up on a hundred and something dollars, and you're willing to print out 350 pages to do it for $65. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the business. Appreciate it. So with this business model, the families hang around other families, be prepared for that, have plenty of business cards, have your digital business card, have a brochure as well. I, I've taught notaries how to create their brochure. If you see notaries with brochures, just know that shit came from me.
I love teaching people. I love it. I, I can't get enough of it. So let's go over the million dollar call script. Do you guys, have you guys received any phone calls yet? No. Okay. So this no, is me. But I did do one notary. It was only because it was a friend, but no, I, I, I haven't received any calls yet. Okay, this is good then. So I'm gonna show you how to maximize this profit. So my background, this is my natural background. I'm in sales and marketing, right? I've been in sales and marketing for over 20 years. So the elements that I'm bringing to you, they work. Big organizations use it. I've coached engineering firms. I teach you guys how to structure your business to be the Ritz Carlton of the notary business, not Motel 8. So what I'm about to show you with this call script, you're all going to get a copy of this. This is going to change everything for you. Okay, can you guys see this? Yes. Okay. Yes, I I actually have one. Excellent. I think from one of your other classes, I downloaded it. Hey, Markel, if you can put your your name, the city and state that you're in, and your phone number, whenever there is opportunity in your neck of the woods, we're building an agency here so everybody can have. So if you guys don't mind putting your information again so Markel can have it, that would be perfect. Um, Markel wasn't able to uh, tap in yesterday, but he's here today. Shout out to you. Um, yeah, let's share information with each other so we can network and then build our notary business, our agencies together. Okay, so this is the call script. Okay. Who said they received a phone call before? Shout out to Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas is in the building. But you see that, ladies? You now have a connection out in Texas now. I'm telling you this, I'm telling you because it worked, I've done it. When a client calls me and they say, hey, um, I need a notary for whatever. And then I tell them, oh, by the way, we have notaries in other areas as well, such as Florida and Texas. You know how attractive that looks to a client? I don't think enough people know. It is highly attractive to a client when they know that you have an operation that spans across the United States. You know, the level of confidence of them doing business with you just shot up 100%. Because they now look at you like you're not local. You're no longer local. They look at you like you're national. Oh, please take heed to that. Please take it. It will, it will, when you ask for those prices, they will have no problem spending that money with you. They will literally give you their credit card over the phone. So who said that they received a phone call before? Anyone? Anyone got a notary phone call before? Okay. So we're going to start with you, Brandy. Take your time. This is what I call the hot seat. 
we're just going to do a preliminary for today. Tomorrow, we're going to sharpen the iron even more. But I want you to get to a flow of answering the phone call. So if you, it takes you a little bit to read through it, you know, just to kind of understand it, don't worry, we're good. So you ready? I guess so. Let's go. Come on, Bronx. Bronx always shows up. Because Brandy don't be talking. Like yesterday, I know it was a little quiet, but like y'all made me feel so welcome and family like. So I'm just like, okay. Brandy, yeah. we know you. Now that I know you from the Bronx, you was just scoping the area. That's all that was. She was scoping yeah. the area. She yeah. was a person by the bar. She was like, okay, that's yeah, a let me see. Nigga. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. she quiet, yes, so she like she room. Uh, virtually <laughs> okay so let's see okay ring 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 hi thank you for calling just for you know the essentials my name is brandy how may i help you today first of all your intro was perfect your intro was, do you realize how many notaries don't even have a professional greeting? Trust me, I have an agency. I call notaries every single day. They answer the phone. Hello? <laughs> no way. Hello? <laughs> Niggas be buying bottles of Hennessy while I'm on the phone with them. <laughs> I'm trying to give them notary business and this nigga buying Swisher Sweets. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm like, nah, I'm good. I'm good, B. Oh, <laughs> Shit is real. So by you having a professional greeting like that, bravo. You're already, you're already past average. You're like, you're like 70% already. Mm, thank you. So let's do it. Let's do it again. Ring, ring, ring. Hi, thank you for calling Just For You Notary Essentials. My name is Brandy. How may I help you today? Hi, Brandy. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? How can I help you? Yeah, I'm looking to get a power of attorney done. Do you guys do that? We sure do. I'll be happy to help you with that. Okay. Um, so this is my first time getting a power of attorney. Uh, what do I have to do? Do you, so this is your first time getting a power of attorney, so you don't have the paperwork already. I can, I can link you with my document liaison and have the paperwork, have you assisted with the paperwork, have the paperwork, as, can't get that together. It's okay. It's okay. We're going to work through that. And filling out the paperwork. Okay. First, so first, we understand what the document is, right? Mm-hmm. What's my name? Oh, yeah, because you said, you just said I need to get something notarized. I yeah. mean, you need the power. So do you know what my name is? No. Okay. So we're trying, what our goal is, we are consultants. I want you to look at it as you're consulting them. They're coming to you for help. And you want to take your time to consult them. After you learn this script, then you could put your own personality to it, put your own flair to it. You could go however, which way you want. But I want you to have this strong foundation when it comes to, because if something goes left, you can always revert back to the script and bring it back on course. Okay. Okay. Ring, ring, ring. Hi, thank you for calling just for you know the essentials. My name is Brandy. How may I help you today? Hi, Brandy. I'm looking to get a power of attorney done. Uh, do you guys do that? Sure, I can definitely help you with that. May I ask who I'm speaking with? This is Mark. Hi, Mark. So we can definitely help you with getting your power of attorney um, filled out. I'm sorry, my kid just dropped something. <laughs> it's okay. Um, let's see. Okay, so power of attorney. Wait, you moving stuff. Stay still. Um, so you do. So am I asking him what type of power of attorney or, you know, because obviously he don't have the paperwork if he needs the power of attorney filled out. Not true. 
He might have the paperwork already. Okay. So, Mr. Mark, do you already have the power of attorney papers? What does this say? See, I told you stop moving. You don't make me cock out. How would you position that? Okay, so I got your name. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in the event that we get disconnected, what is the best number that I can reach you at? Beautiful. 312-555-1234. Okay, thank you for that, Mr. Mark. Um, do you already have the power of attorney papers? Uh, yes, I do. Do you already have a third party witness for this document? A third party witness? Um, can can my can my cousin be a third party witness? No, it would have to be somebody who is not related to you at all. Oh, okay, okay. Um I mm, Oh no, I can't use them. No, I don't have a third party witness. Okay, we can definitely um we can definitely provide a witness for you for a fee. Okay. Uh, do you need the documents printed out? Do you want would you like us to print them for you? No, I, I already have the documents. Okay. Do you does your documents require scan backs? I oh, know you have them. Never mind. So now it wait, 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 wait. So now somewhere in here, I should have asked him, is it for him or is it for a family member? Because yesterday you said usually the person that contacts you is just a facilitator. Yes. So after I got his name and number, I should have asked him, is it for him or is it for no. so, someone so, else? So what I, want, what I want you to try to do is just flow through this call script. Okay. Just just get through the whole call script and then I'll give you guys little hacks in between. So, okay, so, so keep this so keep this in mind. Some things will you will not be required to do. Like this stuff right here, the overnight curry, unless they mention it to you, you don't need to mention that. Okay. The, the scan backs, you won't have to really mention that. That's just if something comes up, you know that you should be charging extra for that. Okay. 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 So he has it printed. Um, do all do all parties have valid IDs? Yes. And how soon would you like this done? Uh, we were looking to get this done uh, on a Friday. Okay. Would next Friday work for you? Uh, this Friday would be better. Okay. I can definitely set you up for this Friday. Would you like morning, afternoon, or an evening time? Um, I would like to, I think afternoon around, around four would be better for everybody. Okay. Please hold for a second. Let me just check our availabilities okay. and get the schedule. Yes. Four o'clock is available. Where would you like us to meet you at? Uh, so it will be 1313 Mockingbird Lane. And all parties will be present there. Yes. Okay, Mr. Mark, could I have your email just so I can email you a confirmation and a reminder for this appointment? So I would avoid this for right now. Okay. The reason is um, emails can be very confusing when you're writing it down. Okay. So what we want to do, we want to make things so easy for them to make the first payment that... You know, some people will say, you know, it's hot chin 72 at gmail.com. Hot what? You know what I'm saying? Like now you're asking them to spell it out. And you know what I mean? And there's like, you know, chin, chin, you know, like it's it, it gets crazy, right? So we're we're gonna avoid the email thing unless we absolutely need the email. Okay. Okay. So what I want you to do before you give the price out and before you ask for the address or anything, I need you to do this right here. 
Okay. So how would you position saying that? Okay, Mr. Mark, let me just go over the service that we're providing for you. Okay. You're looking for a power Friday to be filled out. Um, on this Friday coming up around four in the afternoon, uh, we'll be providing a third party witness for you. Um, we're gonna be meeting at 1313 Mockingbird Lane. Mm -hmm. um, and the phone number I have for you is da -da 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 -da, one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. I'm not writing. I'm just talking. Yep. Um, you you will have the paperwork there, and everybody that is going to be listed on the power of attorney does have valid ID. Yes. That was now, it. Go, now go right into this. Okay. So the the, talk, the cost for everything will be one seventy eight ninety seven. Only offer coupon code if you're about. Oh, okay. Okay, so hit hit me with the price one more time. Okay, so your total cost will be one seventy eight ninety seven. Um, we ah, take. Ah, 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 ah. What? That's what you that, do. No, no, that's it. No, because. That's it. The, the, that's it. Oh. So okay, what here okay. here here is here is a uh psych psychological mind fuck to customers. When you give your price, there is a magic four letter word that you you say to yourself. It's called STFU. Does everybody know what STFU is? I can fuck up. What is it? <laughs> what is it? What he said. What he said. I didn't hear it. I love to hear it personally. What is this? It means shut the fuck up. Exactly. Shut the front door. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. When you give out the price, always STFU. The reason why is because you just took them on a roller coaster, okay? You just okay. took them through a roller coaster of questions to analyze a situation. And now when you give them a price, now their brain has to process what you just did. So now you, they're thinking, wait, okay, wait, wait, 178.97. So I want you to give me the price again. You said don't give them the price. No, give me the price, but don't say anything after you give me the price. Okay, so the price for this service will be $178.97. $178.97? What? I didn't know it was going to be this expensive. <laughs> Make me laugh. <laughs> don't do that on the phone, right? Don't laugh. <laughs> I don't care. Hey, you can mute it and do handstands all I care. <laughs> but don't say another word until they ask you a question. The first, the person that talks first loses. Okay. What? 178. Well, I gotta get this done. Shit. Well, I could do it on my credit card. It's a, a lot of times you'll hear them talking to themselves, rationalizing this shit. <laughs> but if you're in if you're interrupting them, you're interrupting their thought process to make okay. a, a sound decision. So that's why it's so important that you don't say anything. And then they'd be like, you know. Okay, so how do you take payment, Brandy? Uh, Cash App, Zelle, Square, I don't, whatever. I haven't started that part yet. Okay, cool. Good job, good job. Next up, Tulsa, come on. Come up in here. All right now. You ready? Uh... It don't matter. You got to be ready. 
<laughs> yeah, but this is this this the part where I get I, I get yeah I could talk a good game, but when it comes to this, after the first or second time, then I'll be good. But the first time is like, yeah, okay, so yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ring ready. ring. Okay, do the ring ring again. I'm sorry. Ring ring. Hello, thank you for calling Point and Sign Notary. How may I help you? This is Tasha. Hi, Tasha. How are you doing today? I'm fine. And you, how are you? Good. I'm looking to get a power of attorney done. Do you guys do that? Yes, we do. Um, do you uh, know what type of power of attorney document you would like? Um, I think the one that we have is a durable. That's what it says on the page. Okay. And just in case if we get... May I have your name, please? Sure, it's Mark. Okay, Mark. And in case we get disconnected, Mark, may I please have your telephone number where I can reach you back? Sure, it's 312-555-1234. Okay, so you said this was a type of um, document. Um, uh, and how many, how many people will... <clears throat> No, uh, notary type. Oh, I got that. The name, I got that. Phone number, third party witness. Oh, uh, Willis document. Uh, do you have the the um witnesses um for? Do would you be providing the witnesses for this document? Okay, so so you... take your take your time. Yeah, take your time. Right. There's no because it's your at the end of the day, it's your show. Okay, they're calling you. You're not on their time. They're on your time. Okay. Okay, so just take your time. Even if you have to pause and not say anything, I would rather you do that than to feel like you have to rush. Eventually, this will flow like water through you. Right. So just take your time. What's the next question? Okay. Uh, is there a third party witness um, needed for this document? Would you be providing that or would you like us to provide it? Oh, that's a good question. Um, can can um, can my sister in law be a third party witness? No, I'm sorry, Mark. Uh, it have to be someone who's not related to you or um, related in marriage to you. Ah, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Um, no, I don't. Okay, well, uh, Mr. Mark, we can provide the two witnesses for you for a fee if that. Sure, okay. Okay, um, and uh, do you require, uh, no, how many sets of documents do you need? Yeah, so this is another one that you don't have to worry yeah, about. This is if that, it was like a long closing. Signing, so I don't have that. Okay. Right. Um, overnight. No. Do all parties. Okay. Um, do all parties have um, valid IDs? Yes, they do. Okay. And how soon do you need these documents to be done? Uh, we're looking over the weekend. Do you guys work on the weekend? Uh, on Saturdays, but no Sundays. Okay. What is a um a day that you will be um and when is a, a night uh what if pause, pause what time of day yeah what time of day would work best for you now give them the option well that's 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 yeah what time of day would be work will work best for you morning afternoon or evenings evenings okay. Uh, give me one second and let me check and see uh, what available times we have on Saturday evening. Okay, we do have a uh, four o'clock Saturday evening available. Is that good for you? Now, see right right here. Uh, we have three times available. Oh, okay, okay. The so, reason, uh, so let me let me explain why that's on there like that because okay. this is a lifestyle business. You're not going to, I don't want you to drop everything that you have going on in your life. Right. Because they have a calamity. So when you give them three options, you're giving them three options to fit around your lifestyle, not theirs. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. All right, go. 
Okay, so um, I do see that we have um, two o'clock, three o'clock, and four o'clock available on Saturday. Uh, which time is best for you? Um, so I need evenings. Evening. Oh, okay. So the only available, um, the only available evening time we have is four o'clock. Um, hmm. So that's your that's the latest. That's the latest. I'm sorry. Okay. Yes, All right. Yeah. Okay. Then we'll we'll have to do four o'clock. Okay. All right, Mr. Mark. Um. By the way, how how did you hear about us? Uh, Google. Okay. All right. So, um, Mr. Mark, uh, I see that you want a power of attorney done. You let him know. Let him know what you're about to do. <laughs> 